disappointed, uh, you know, with 11 a point lead in the second half uh, to not do a better job of taking care of the basketball and taking advantage of the position we put ourselves in. Uh, you know, played hard. Defense was pretty good. Turned them over. Scored off of turnovers. Um, um, need, need, need more guys to step up offensively. Obviously, had, had a good night from KD and a good night from you know, Jabari. Um, but we, we've got more step up in us. Uh, our half-court offense, you know, continues to, you know, struggle, um, not getting great looks. Look, Tennessee's a good defensive team. That's going to happen when you play against a good defensive team. You know, give the Vols credit. Um, you know, we're obviously here late February and um, not playing our best offensively. Uh, no excuses on the rebounding. Um, we talked before the game that the team that played more physically and uh, with greater effort and energy would win the game. And um, their guards and their, their players, they were quicker to the ball than we were. Um, and that was real a real problem for us chasing those 50-50 balls. They got 20 more possessions than, than we did. It's hard to win a game when you give an opponent that many more possessions. All right, Coach, we're going to start with a question from Justin Ferguson. Rich, you guys went into over eight minutes without hitting the shot in the second half. Was what a kind of change or anything that Tennessee did? Is what what's kind of went into that long drought you guys had? Turned it over, didn't make shots, didn't execute. And, and, and if I knew I'd give you an answer, I'm not being short. Uh, Justin, I just, I just, I don't have the answer. If I did, we do, we just scored, you know. Um, I mean, I'll go back and look at it. Um, the question is, you know, do we, do we value possessions? Didn't we get a lot of late shots? Not very good. Didn't get good point guard play tonight. Got great point guard play against Ole Miss, didn't we? Didn't get good point guard play tonight. Go to Bennett Durando next. Yeah, Bruce, you mentioned more guys needing to step up. Uh, Jabari, KD, and Wendell took a, a pretty big bulk of the shots and are only five bench points. What, what do you sort of want to see these last couple of games just in terms of reincorporating that bench and making sure that there's a good balance with that? Well, yeah. Um, yeah, Jabari had some tough shots, but nine for 21 is not awful. Three for five for three, six for seven. Um, you know, and uh, obviously KD was seven for 13, so their percentage was good. Wendell um, uh, had an off night, and um, he had some tough shots. The ball was in his hands, but um, got to get, you know, when you're playing one of the best teams in the league, you know, one of the top four teams in the league, you know, you got to make them. You can't just take them. New bias, Wilborn. Um, when Jabari hits that three, uh, you guys are like at 63, 60, getting within three after being down over digits. What are you taking down? No, it's a minute left. Are you still thinking you guys are in it? And what do you have to do to finish off there? Yeah, so uh, they, I'm not sure where their bucket was, but we kept pressing, knowing we didn't need a foul because they coughed it up a little bit. Maybe they give us another one, uh, even with a, even just down three. Uh, there was about a minute left, 59, 89 seconds. You need to stop. And I'm not sure. You can look at the stat sheet. Nobody you could tell me, was it two free throws maybe? Did they get a bucket? Uh, there was a but the layup at the end. It was a, The kid got the layup. I'm all, yeah. Um, they, dro drove by somebody, right? Yeah. Drive by one of our guards? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I think that was a pretty consistent theme. Like, were our guards able to keep them in front? Not very much. And then your shot blocker is going to come over and help and give a backside rebounding. So our guards couldn't keep their guards in front. And it really cost us a lot. That was, that was probably our one on one closeouts. We'll go to Lance Daw next. Coach, obviously, like you just mentioned, the guard play has not been as consistent as you would have liked here down the stretch. What are you telling your guys to keep them confident as we head into the postseason? Just to trust each other and try to trust the process and know that, like, if we can go on the road, not play very well, lose by five to Tennessee, not play very well against Florida, 
and lose with a possession, not play great, losing overtime to Arkansas. You know, you can't push the panic button. We know we can play better. Go to Mark Murphy. Yeah, Bruce, how tough is it for this team to win when it only gets five points from the bench? It's very difficult. Very difficult. It is. And you know, we're best when everybody contributes and can't be afraid to fail. And you got to be able to produce when you're out there. And um, I would even like maybe to play the bench, you know, even more, but it was, it was, it was hard. You know, Jabari and KD played 35 minutes. It's a lot. I'm going to Brian Matthews. Uh, yes, Bruce. Uh, do you think your team maybe for the first time this season lost a little poise there in the second half with some of the unnecessary fouls and some of the shot selection? Yes. Yeah, I think we did. I mean, just a little bit. You know, just we didn't execute. That's part of not executing and uh, not valuing the possession, either offensively or defensively. You know, we had some really, again, with that 11 point lead, we had like three turnovers in there. And, um, uh, you know, uh, Jabari had one on, 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 on inbound play. Um, Al had one in the middle of the floor playing point guard. Devin had one in a corner. You know, jumping up in the air and throwing a ball to nobody. And just those are three possessions. They came down the other end, scored, and all of a sudden, 11 point lead's gone. All right, guys, last one. I got a quick one. Justin Hopkinson. Yeah, Bruce, I was just going to ask you about Wendell's, Wendell's night. I mean, ha, is there a way to get him, you know, going more in different shots, two for 15? He just, he just struggles with some of those deep ones yeah, late, I guess. But I, I, I trust him uh, because he's been, a, you know, he's really delivered. Um, you know, but man, you know, obviously it's okay, you know, um, to go, you know, you're going to go as your best players go. Wendell's one of our best players. And, um, you know, he, he, be, you know, he didn't shoot a very good percentage tonight and, uh, probably could have, you know, probably could have done a better job, uh, coming off it and getting guys better shots and passes and been a better playmaker. A lot of things he probably could have done better. You know, for us to for us to have a chance to win. But I trust him. I trust him. All right. Thank you, BP. Thanks. Talking a little trash on the field? Yeah, we get it. Trashing the state with litter? That's terrible. Keep it clean. Keep Alabama beautiful.